Getting ready to go to Texas. I'm going to bring you guys along behind the scenes of kind of how I pack and prepare. Some of you guys have never had to fly to a hunting destination, so that might be new to you. So you might want to watch to see kind of what TSA stuff I do, where I put broadheads, arrows, guns, whatever weapons, things you need for your hunt. Waiting to see if we got uh, our luggage. of items like spotters, binos, cameras, tripods, drones, all that stuff. So first things first is what am I going to wear while I hunt? So I know I'm going to Texas. I know it's the spring. I know that it's a lot hotter or warmer than where I live up in the Northwest. Rain's probably not going to be too big of a concern. Snakes are going to be a concern and prickly things because it's very deserty. So keep that in mind. So we're going to go through my NUMA gear. I'm going to pack some gloves, a pursuit pant. Definitely. This is going to be my go-to every day. Uh, it's got the built-in knee pad. I want to have two pairs because I'll be hunting for a total of five days and hopefully I kill something and get one of these bloody. The Merino base layer is definitely something because I'm going to be hot, sweaty. It's not going to stink as bad as maybe a poly. So we'll go that. We're going to wear a Renegade long sleeve. We'll throw that in there. We got Renegade short sleeve short sleeve and quarter zip. Here's my backup pair of pursuit pants. The thing I like about NUMA is the exact waist size. So these are 30, 32s. I'm huge into organization. So this is kind of my man cave. I kind of know what's in every tote and where everything goes. It's got the TSA locks, so the TSA can open it up, look at it, inspect it, or whatever. And then it's got additional storage here, and here, and here, and your bow sits in there nicely. Now, I still need to go shoot my bow one more time. I'm gonna be running the iron wheel single bevel to the left, 125 solids. Uh, I wanna go shoot a couple arrows with them real quick. All my arrows are max helical to the left. I have shot them yesterday. Super, super stoked about it. It's pretty windy today, so it'd be a good day to just kind of see how it does in the wind as well. I'm gonna bring a 65 millimeter spotter. I am hunting odd dad technically, and I wanna be able to set up shop and glass a long ways. So I'm gonna bring that. And I'm also gonna bring this little tripod from Vortex. It's carbon, it's super light. So it just hooks on right there. This is the Summit Carbon Pro. I am not gonna bring the tripod on my carry-on but I am gonna bring the spotting scope in my carry-on. We're gonna bring game bags. This tripod is the bigger one. It's the Ridge View Carbon and it's, uh, it's still really light. And I have to bring this cause I'm doing an elk shape camp after the hunt. And I might have to film some of the content like Ranch Ferry's coming to one of the days. I wanna film some stuff with him. Uh, trekking poles, I'm only gonna bring one just because if I have to pack an, an animal out a long ways. This is Texas. Usually you can get a side-by-side -side wherever you need to. Speaking of Black Ovis, we're gonna bring these little shooter gloves in case it's cold in the morning. This is gonna go on my carry-on in my wallet. This is my Texas hunting license and tags. I, I bought last October and it go, it's good through August. This is a Poseidon energy bank. I'm gonna be relying heavily on this to charge my GoPro, uh, my head camera, my cell phone. LED Lenser, the, one of the brightest headlamps in the game. And I do have a discount code. I wanna say it's Elk Shape or Elk Shape 15. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know which one it is, but these guys are the brightest on the market. And these ones lock, so they don't get turned on in your pack accidentally. A GoPro monopod. And so the GoPro will be right over the shoulder and I'm going to take the GoPro out. I don't want to have it in my uh, checked bag. That's going to go on my carry on. This is my marsupial with a range finder, Vortex 4000, UHD 10 by 42s. This will be in my carry on. I'm bringing a backup range finder. This is a 4000 and really my, my buddy who's going with me, lost his rangefinder, so I'm bringing this for him to borrow as well. But it's not a bad idea to bring a backup rangefinder, at the very least bring a backup rangefinder battery. 
These are backup broadheads because again, I'm testing the iron wheel single bevel, but these are the, my tried and true Grim Reaper 125 micro Hades three blades. And this will go in my bow case. This is my backup release. This is a wise choice from Carter. This lens is a long lens. This is a 70 to 200. Uh, I think it goes down to 2.8 as far as the f-stop. Uh, this will be going on my carry-on. Game bags, because I hopefully more game bags. It's a target rich environment. My arrows, these are my backup arrows. So I'll be bringing six in the quiver and then I'll be bringing another seven. These have fill points in them with the lighted knocks. 463 grains, rip TKOs. Extra windicator, Laponias. This will be my stocking boots. I'll be doing a lot of spot and stock. That's my primary uh, style. And so that's what I'm bringing down on this hunt. There are turkeys down there and I was wanting to try these 125s and we'll be doing some dedicated turkey days. And so I'll be putting these on. These are cool because once this goes into the animal, this piece moves in and opens up the blade, like kind of like a plunge. If you notice this practice collar right here, that yellow one, you just snap that in here. The plunger can't go down. These won't open up. And these little pieces here, when you push the blades in, you have to stick them in. They snap and you clip off the back end. I'll show you when I get down there, but I do want to test these on turkey. That'll go there. This is a DJI Pocket. This is a really cool camera. It can do time lapses, panning. Um, we'll do some sunrise, sunsets, some shooting the bow type stuff. So this, this thing gets a lot of use and you can attach it into a tripod so you can get some really, really cool um, time lapses. Carry-on is going to be the Hellbender from Kufaru. I got a large pocket attached on the outside. I got this new Nalgene 2.0 on one side and then a small pouch right here. And then I'll just fill this up with all that carry on stuff. So the last thing I need to do is go out and shoot my bow with the single bevel and just get a couple reps and then pack the bow away. We fly out bright and early tomorrow. The plane leaves at 5 a.m. The first thing I'll do when I get to where I'm hunting is shoot my bow. And I'll probably shoot it at 20, 40, 60, 80 with the broadhead. Six inch with seven ounces, 12 inch with one ounce. Engaged leg limbs. I bet I get asked every day in my life, what are those things? What leg limbs are those? They're Matthews Engage limb legs, made for just Matthews, specifically the Halon Forward. So this will sit like this. I mean, that's firmed up pretty good. And this is just an East, I think it's Easton that makes the broadhead case for that one. Right here. So, so these are all my X impacts, four millimeter. I mean, I am going to Texas. Can't bring enough arrows, right? Get it lined up. So there we have extra bullets, some extra rips or bow. So I'm going to grab a laptop as well, but throw the drone in the bottom, put our spotter, throw the range finder here, GoPro. Okay, so we're going to put extra microphone, hunting license, DJI Pocket, GoPro, kind of all the fun gizmos in there. I'll get a couple charger USB, USB-C, micro USB, plus this right here on top. Close it up. This has got to go with you on the carry-on. I just don't feel comfortable leaving this. Oh, don't try to bring that. 
I should probably, what other knives do I have? I've already had to donate one buck knife to security this year, so we'll throw that in our uh, check bag. We'll see you guys in Texas.